Good evening, this is Ray Hayes with Global Diversity News. Today, we're going to discuss the article NFL, the N- I'm sorry, the article titled NFL going about minority cultures the wrong way. Cardinals have the answer. Now, when it, when it states that the Cardinals have the answer, they're talking about the, the NFL franchise, the Arizona Cardinals. The NFL recently uh, received a lot of backlash in regards to the Rooney Rule after Tony D- Dungy accepted his, his honor into the Hall of Fame. Uh, Mr. Dungy went about talking about the the fact that the, the Rooney Rule is not being operated correctly. Uh, teams are not going about it really taking it serious when it comes to interviewing minority candidates for head coaching jobs or coaching jobs in general. They're not really taking it serious as they should be. Uh, in the in the article I just uh, stated, the article brought the fact that the NFL has a fellowship program. Uh, the fellowship program is called the Bill Walsh Minority Fellowship. The NFL goes about bringing in active coaches or players, so so, so sort, and, and allowing them to work with current NFL teams, in particular the coaching staff in the NFL's offseason, uh, during training camp, and also mini camps. So they have these people come in, they're working with them to to go about understanding what it takes to be an NFL coach and allowing them to see if they would be interested in, in gathering this. I mean, going about one day become a coach themselves, not not particularly a head coach, but just a uh, assistant coach or anything, but actually working with uh working in the NFL as a coach and their uh, perspective. Uh one thing that pointed out is that which I find kinda odd is that in the NFL currently the off season schedules have changed. So the off season schedule is very minimal. So with that being said, how could a, a candidate interested in one day becoming a coach in the NFL really get the effect of benefits of attending all season programs or mini camps when their their majority majority of them have been uh like I said minimized so they don't have a full schedule to actually learn about these skills and understand what it fully takes to become a coach in the NFL so there comes in play the Arizona Cardinals the Arizona Cardinals uh, went about developing a program where they're giving minority candidates the opportunity to see what it takes to work in the NFL. Now, they're still going about following some of the rules uh, with the Bill West Minority Fellowship. However, they implemented their own rules, which have been very effective. Uh, the fact that they, we all know, like I said, the, 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 since the schedule has been minimized, there has to be opportunities where these candidates or applicants have opportunity to learn outside of the, the, the training camps or the mini camps. So the Arizona Cardinals, which I applaud them, went about starting their own ways and figure out how can we give these applicants a better opportunity to, to, to go about finding what it takes to be a coach. So Bruce Arians and the Arizona franchise, I applaud you for thinking outside of the box, quote unquote, because the box is not that narrow. The NFL understands that. Well, NFL knows that if you're a college, an active college coach, but you're interested in joining an NFL team, you have a schedule outside of the the training camps the NFL have. So you may not be able to attend these training camps with the NFL because you have an active job with the college. With a college team. And the college schedule was just as intensi- intensified as the NFL schedule. So, in order to get more minority candidates in the NFL, the NFL has to think outside of the box. They have to and go about using their common sense. If, the, if you all minimize the schedule, think of new ways to go about allowing these applicants learn what it takes to be a coach now that means 
allowing these advocates to work possibly during the playoffs. I mean, going around following the training staff. But you have to think of other ways if you minimize the schedule because they're not getting the full benefits of working. Or working with the coaching staff to see what it actually takes. You, you see a marginalized form of what it takes. So, with that being said, I want to thank you all for listening to the, the, our mini podcast uh, with GDN News, Global Diversity News. Please follow us on Twitter at GDN Network. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Global Diversity News. Please also like our Facebook play, page, Global Diversity News. And we'll keep you up to date with all the diversity news around the globe. Thank you. Once again, this is Ray Hayes. You all have a good evening.